<laughs> they cut out everything that showed that their narrative was a piece of horse manure. Um, and it shows you how dishonest, these are smear merchants. That's why nobody trusts corporate media. Uh, they are a disaster in what they're doing. They knew what they were doing was a lie. I knew what they were doing was a lie. Everybody here knows what they were doing is a lie. They know that we know they're lying, and yet they continue to lie. And they lied, and they lied, and they lied. We offered them the information, and they declined to interview the key people uh, because they didn't want to let go of the narrative. Well, guess what? There's going to be consequences for that. Uh, we're not, I know corporate media thinks that they can just run over people. Uh, you ain't running over this governor. I'm punching back, and I'm going to continue to do it. until these smear merchants are held accountable. The fact of the matter is, Florida has vaccinated three and a half million senior citizens. We were the first state in the country to put seniors first. The results of our efforts are that seniors are much less likely to be hospitalized for COVID than they were six months ago. So our efforts have worked, and particularly in Palm Beach County, uh, we've done over 275,000 seniors just in that one county. That's 75 percent of all the seniors there. It's been a, a team effort. We've worked in a lot of different ways, um, but you can't lie uh, and you should have not run it. Uh, they were warned uh, and yet they plowed ahead anyways. And so we're going to be doing even more to expose uh, more lies because there's lies built upon lies on all this. You know, for example, they're attacking publics. You know it's New York corporate media. When you come to Florida and attack Publix, I mean, like, people like, I mean, like, maybe they're, they like their dogs better than Publix, but not much. I mean, it's one of the most popular brands in the state. It would have been malpractice to cut Publix out of assisting. And I know we were able to expand retail sites in Bay. People were very happy. Um, but what they're saying is, is a total crock that somehow only Publix was getting it. It is nonsense. And we told them it was that and they cut it out, they spliced it because they can't handle the truth. And they know if they would have put out everything, uh, they wouldn't have had a story. And so they went for the smear. Uh, they've been caught red-handed. Now, see, all these corporate media people, they all scratch each other's back. So, you know, a lot of them just are pretending it didn't happen. They're not going to really police their own. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of people that are going to police their own. But the message is for people out there, Unless you're a partisan leftist, uh, do not trust corporate media. You can't trust them. They're not trustworthy. They will lie. They will smear. Um, and then they just move on to the next target and think that they're going to be able to get away with it. You ain't getting away with it here, okay? You come down to our state and you try to smear people, um, you know, we're going to bite back and we're going to hold you accountable. So this is not over by any stretch of the imagination. Yes. What are you stopping me for? Well, you have to have a crime or infraction for me to identify myself, sir. Who am I speaking with? The driver of this car. What's your name and badge number? Officer Schneider. What is the nature of the stop? I don't want to know why you're driving by me with the window down. I'm not sure what you're doing. Is that a crime, sir? Is that illegal? Okay. Is it a crime? Is that a lawful stop because I drove with my window down? I gave you the reason for the stop. Who am I speaking with? Provide the driver you. of this car. Provide your identification. Then. For what? I didn't commit a crime. Okay. Driving with the window down is not un unlawful. If that's all you got, you better get a supervisor out here. Who am I speaking with? You don't need to know that. I haven't broken a law. Where are you headed to tonight? That's none of your business. It is some of my business. It's not your business. It's irrelevant to you. No, it's not. Why is it not irrelevant? Because this is the third time that I've seen you driving by when you drive by with your window down and your hang, hand hanging out. saying Is that, that against the law? Okay. It raises reasonable suspicion for me to stop you. Suspicion and is not a crime. You've stopped me. 
I speaking with? So I can have you don't need to know that. I do need to know that. For what? To know if you have a reason to be in this area now at this point in time. Is it illegal to be in this area? Okay. We've had crimes going on in this area. And Wonderful. I you're a suspicious person in this area. Okay. I want to know who I'm speaking with. Okay. Well, you don't need to know. Are you the owner of this vehicle? Unless I've broken a law, I don't have to identify. Now, am I free to leave? No, you're not at this point, okay? What are crime are you stopping me for? I advise you why you're stopped. <laughs> suspicious is not a crime. When I've done something wrong... Then you may stop and detain me. Are you the owner of this vehicle? I'm not answering any questions. You let me know when I'm free to go. And if I'm not, you get a supervisor out here who can explain to you that unless I've broken a law, you cannot detain me. And I do not have to identify. Where are you headed to tonight? That's none of your business. I already told you I'm not answering questions. Where are you coming from? Are you stupid? Obviously, you are. Why do you think that I'm stupid? You let me know when I'm free to go. Okay. Good. Where are you headed to tonight? Do you always violate people's rights? Not violating any rights at this time. Absolutely you are. What rights am I violating? You're unlawfully detaining me. You're violating my Fourth Amendment right to travel freely. Now. So I'm not violating any rights. I haven't committed a crime. Okay. Driving is not illegal. Driving with the window down is not illegal. Driving in this area is not illegal. So until you have a reason, kick rocks. Now, am I going to get that supervisor? No, I don't find a reason to wake my supervisor up this time. Well, you don't, but I do. Okay, then you can contact me. Clearly, you uh, have an issue with me driving. That's my job to... Your job to stop people unlawfully? I'm not unlawfully stopping anybody. You're preventing me from going work to my destination. Where is that? I'd be more than happy to let you continue on your destination. All right, thank you. Okay. Goodbye. 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 All right, you said goodbye. Am I being detained? Everyone said you were being detained. Not being detained. All right, for the record, this officer is not detaining me. All right, goodbye. Fuck you!